These are corns. These are soy. These are cassava roots. And these are, this is a boiling water. You're probably thinking, what the heck is this guy doing on the stage claiming that he's going to save the world from a plastic epidemic? Can the world plastic epidemic can be done through cooking? The answer is obviously no, because I can barely cook my own instant noodle right. But today, I will surely cook this damn thing right. So here's a piece of that particular cassava bioplastic in which some of you have in your hands. I'm ripping that apart. As you can see, it's really durable. And I'm putting this into the warm water. And as you can see, something that look like plastic, that feel like plastic, and perform like plastic, in just 30 seconds has now become a green drink for a greener world. Woo! So when we started, honestly, we tried everything. What I mean by everything is everything, from mangosteen starch, from hyacinth, from using brown algae to using sunflower seeds, mixing that with vegetable oil, glycerol, and all that good stuff. But upon four years of this very intense research and development, salvation came in a form of cassava starch. Cassava starch saved my life and everybody's life. So, Using cassava starch and vegetable oil, we've been able to produce this revolutionary bioplastic. So this bioplastic is the only bioplastic in the world that has passed for oral toxicity tests. What does that mean? It means that if it ends up in a landfill or in a body of water, it is safe enough for animals and living beings to consume it. And that's the reason why I had the gonads to actually drink it in the video. <laughs> So obviously that's all the good stuff, right? But on this part, I want to talk to you guys about the grind behind the conception of Avani, my beloved daughter. <laughs> and back in 2011, that's when everything started. I set up this thing called the Bat Cave. The Bat Cave was actually in Jakarta, a room uh, no bigger than 35 square meter, where we committed 18 hours a day, seven days a week, for four straight years with zero vacation. We put down our sweat, our tears, and our blood, literally and figuratively, to really try to come up with solutions to combat this world plastic epidemic. In that four-year bad cave research stint, finally I was able to discover the answer to it all, which was utilizing industrial-grade cassava starch in creating bioplastic. A lot of you probably wonder, why cassava? So just in Indonesia alone, we're actually growing 25 million tons of cassava annually, with an uptake that is much, much lower than that. So there goes my business brain, and we're thinking that if we're able to take this waste of cassava and turning that into worth, we could be millionaires one day. <laughs> so I actually... Finally, salvation came in a form of cassava starch and vegetable oil. So, after that four years of intense research and development, Avani was actually finally born in the end of 2014. As you can see from the slides, we are offering a portfolio of plant-based material to replace those disgusting petroleum-based plastic products. As someone who's been blessed with an educational background in biology, medical, as well as business, when I saw cassava starch, I was able to envision a form of bioplastic that would replace those ugly polyethylene material. When I saw the waste of sugarcane fiber, I saw the potential to replace those disgusting styrofoam that is always bothering me in the ocean. When I saw cornstarch, I saw the hope of replacing those nasty plastic straws that always get stuck in my nose every time I go surfing and really put that misery to an end. So, the cassava bioplastic is our star product. But to be honest with you, this is my favorite product. You know, these nasty plastic straws that we typically use are made from petroleum-based sources, 
However, as a company, we've been able to replace these disgusting plastic straws using compostable material using cornstarch. So allow me to give you guys this one really mind-boggling illustration. Here we are in Ubud, Indonesia. Let's take Indonesia, for example, a population of approximately 260 million people. And let's assume that one plastic straw is about 20 centimeter long, and assuming that one person consumes one plastic straw a day. So let's do the math. 260 million times 20 times one. That is 52,000 kilometers of plastic straws being discarded every single day. You know what? Unfortunately, our equator is only 41,000 kilometers long. So as Indonesians, we are actually discarding 1.3 times the length of our equator just from plastic straws alone. And that number is just really, really disturbing. Another one of my favorite products, we've been able to actually replace those nasty styrofoams that I was just talking about using bagasse, which is the waste of sugarcane fiber. Using these compostable materials and also renewable resources, we could create many applications such as takeaway boxes, uh, plates, bowls, and we've actually taken this into an, a real extreme where we actually set up a pop-up store using materials that are derived from bagasse. Thank you. So, a lot of people ask me, so Kev, what the hell kept you going, man? So these numbers kept me going. And just in 2016, in Bali alone, we have been able to replace close to 200 tons of plastic waste in, in Indonesia, in Bali, Indonesia. And we're only getting started. I would like to remind you again, we are still a baby. We were born at the end of 2014, and you know, praise be to the man upstairs that we have now exported to 20 countries. So, and we are actually about to break that figure in 2017 as our forecast has actually predicted that we'll be, we'll be replacing approximately 1,500 tons of plastic waste just in Bali alone. So I'm sure you guys are very familiar with these pictures, you know, these very disturbing pictures. You know, the world that we know today is different from the world that we knew 10 years ago or 20 years ago. You know, all these statistics, these scary statistics have been proving that, you know, 40% of our ocean surface today is covered in plastic. On top of that, a recent study that was conducted by Ellen MacArthur that was released at the World Economic Forum had suggested that only in 30 years, there's actually going to be more plastic than fish in the ocean. To put a ribbon on my talk today, I would like to propose a toast by raising my freshly made cassava bioplastic juice, <laughs> as well as the bags that you guys have in your hands, to embark together in a green journey for our future generation. Cheers. Yeah.